friends welcome back to my channel hope all of you are doing well today's video is about the insurance industry in australia the global insurance industry has been undoubtedly impacted by the covid 19 pandemic insurers have had to respond swiftly to unprecedented loss of life economic uncertainty and widespread travel disruptions the forecasted losses from COVID-19 for insurance industry worldwide were in hundreds of billions of dollars. A contraction in the value of global insurance market was expected in 2020. However, as insurers moved to adapt to the requirements of their customers and take advantage of new opportunities. The market is expected to recover and grow. In Australia, the three main segments of insurance industry are general insurance, life insurance and health insurance. All three areas have been affected in some way by the fallout from COVID-19 crisis. Currently, the most common types of insurances held in Australia are car insurance, private health insurance and home building insurance. Challenges faced by the general insurance industry in Australia General insurance segment, motor vehicle and household insurance make up the largest shares respectively. All registered cars are legally required to have compulsory third-party insurance in Australia. Additionally, many car owners take out comprehensive car insurance to reduce out-of-pocket expenses if they are involved in an accident. The gross loss ratio of CTP motor vehicle insurance increased significantly in 2020, largely due to the decline in gross written premiums. Extended lockdown periods also led to many people having to work from home in Australia. Insurers have had to react retrospectively in many cases as household insurance policies do not usually cover working from home. Before the onset of COVID-19 pandemic, total life insurance funds under management had been trending downwards, risk products make up the large share of net life insurance premiums. However, the profitability of risk products has decreased in the recent years with a net loss reported in 2020. There has been an overall increase in the value of claims of insurance risk products in Australia over the past five years. Private health insurance has become less attractive in Australia due to rising premiums. The share of population with private health insurance Hospital treatment coverage has declined overall in the past decade. An aging population, increased use of healthcare services, and associated increasing costs have led to higher premiums that people seem unwillingly to pay. The average expenditure by private health insurance providers per person covered has increased by hundreds of dollars over the past decade. Aside from the changes in insurance trends relating to COVID-19, the catastrophe insurance is becoming more relevant. The insurance losses from major weather events such as bushfires, storms and floods have already led to an increase in claims in recent years. This negative impact on general insurers' underwriting margins and earnings will likely continue as natural disasters become more commonplace in the country. Policyholders may expect to pay higher premiums as insurers try to compensate for these losses and secure their financial performance for the future. Now talking about 7 factors that will change Australia's insurance industry by 2025. Changing Market Dynamics Informal survey indicated that there could be a significant reduction in some consumer insurance brands, particularly for motor vehicles. The move to driveless cars, driveless cars and vehicle manufacturers insuring their own products will likely significantly change motor insurance business models. With fewer people owning motor vehicles, insurance will increasingly become tied to directly to car manufacturers, usage and rental companies. Modern motor vehicles contain myriad data capabilities and assets that the insurers of motor vehicle manufacturers can harness. It is highly likely that insurer and manufacturer relationship will result in one insurer providing coverage and services for a particular motor vehicle brand during the life of its vehicles. The vehicle manufacturer's insurer will know each other vehicle's entire history and status of every component within the vehicle, as well as the insured value up the day. It's worth nothing, or alternatively become 
to a classic collector's item. Next is automation. The millennial population and beyond will change how we buy insurance. Much of this demographic expects to buy insurance online and usually instantly. With little or no human intervention, tomorrow's consumers will increasingly have different insurance requirements while pushing for simplicity in buying insurance. Digital natives will have high expectations from the next level of a fast-growing, technologically enabled economy. The same expectations are also applicable within the insurance industry. A younger insurance workforce will not accept cumbersome, slow technology built to protect a vendor's investment, but now seriously data them, challenging to configure and operate. We cannot continue training graduates on anticipated or antiquated technology while they operate handheld devices that are infinitely more functional and powerful. Top rated insurance companies hiring near Australia include Aon with an employee rating of 4 out of 5. Next is Insurance Australia Group. Insurance Australia Group Limited is the parent company of General Insurance Group with control operations in Australia, New Zealand, Thailand and Vietnam, employing more than 15,000 people. Next is QBE. QBE is a general insurer and reinsurer with proud history that originated in Australia more than 135 years ago. Next is NHS. In England, healthcare may be mostly free, but somebody has to watch over it. Gallagher, Gallagher and in International Insurance Brokerage and Risk Management Services Firm is headquartered in Rolling Meadows, Illinois, has operations more than in 40 countries and offers client service capabilities in more than 1540 countries. Zurich Insurance, Zurich is a leading multi-line insurer that serves its customers in global and local markets with more than 55,000 employees. It provides wide range of general insurance, life insurance and other services. Chubb Chubb is the world's largest publicly traded property and casualty insurer. Marsh McLean is the world's leading professional services firm in the areas of risk strategy people. AIG we are leading global insurance organization with operations in approximately 80 countries and jurisdictions. MetLife At MetLife, we are leading global transformation of an industry founded in 1868. Next is AIA Group Limited and its subsidiaries compromise largely independent publicly listed Pan-Asian Life Insurance Group. Alliance Partners Marsh Employers, State Firm, Swiss Re, AXA, Liberty Mutual Insurance, DAL, Crawford & Company, Assurant, Nationwide, Munich Re, RECQ, Travelers, Gen Watson Life, to name a few. Hope this video has been useful and it will give you ample information about the insurance industry in Australia.